All right, let's go to Brody from Dallas. We love Brody from Dallas. He always has something interesting from for me. We haven't heard from him uh, for a little over two months. Brody, what's going on, my friend? Oh, man, I've just been super busy. How are you doing, man? Good. Doing well. All right. So I actually wanted to dive into something um, that uh, I've noticed hasn't been touched on the debates, and I wanted to get your perspective on it, uh, being the brilliant economist. Right. Um, and it's that we've seen... <laughs> We've seen a lot of, uh, and, and rightly so, we've seen a lot of focus on college and post-secondary education, student loans, tuition, and debt, and how that obviously has an effect on our economy, and a variety of different and great proposals by many candidates. And we've heard some mentions of Head Start and Pre-K. I wanted to know uh, what you thought about is if we're not diving in uh, deep enough into the focus on essentially reforming our funding formula for schools, because as you know, most areas get it from property taxes, which contributes to inequality, yep. uh, lots of bad things. Uh, what are some um, suggestions that you might have come across uh, or any kind of progressive ideas that um, you might promote or look, uh, suggest people look into in terms of their own communities for a better funding formula? And uh, what are some opportunities there. I mean, us. listen, it needs to be done systemically unless there's, you know, you're not going to do it with bake sales and fundraisers, I think is the idea. So at a certain point, it needs to be, are we just going to be funding education through property taxes? Is, and, and often it's not just property taxes. It's a combination of state funds distributed often on a per population basis combined with property taxes. Are we just going to do that? Or are we going to do some kind of what might be called like a special assessment or, or an override of some kind? And at the city and town level, when I was growing up in Northampton, Massachusetts, there were often initiatives, ballot initiatives about do we want to do another half point on property taxes over the next however long? Uh, but the the more novel approach would be instead of doing it as an addition to property tax, Look at some version of what Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders are talking about in terms of a wealth tax. Now, I know in the past I've said legally this may be complicated and I'm not backing up on that. I'm just saying it's an idea. Look at using some kind of ra rather than tacking it onto property tax where it will affect middle class homeowners that can't really afford to pay more. Uh, look at doing some kind of a very, very high net worth, either wealth tax or income tax or something like that. And, um, you know, the political viability of it is a question mark, obviously, but it's got to be more, you, you, it's not going to be able to be bake sales and fundraisers. Right. It's got to be centralized. Yeah, you're right. We could, we actually have existing things like title one that we could also implement those funds through. And, um, did you have any specific thoughts on, um, in terms of like, we look at that the DeVos and your advocacy of charter schools, and you've made a really good point that the money follows the student. Do you think that a uh, central funding formula uh, from the uh, national government or a larger organization would help um, eliminate some of the problems that we see with charter schools? Or it's would, possible, uh, it actually but that is going them? to create an S storm of um, states rightists saying, <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on a second. That's not the way you can do it. So I, I mean, it's, it's certainly possible, but I don't see it as being successful in any kind of medium term way. Right on, man. I just wanted to get your opinion on that because uh, we're focusing on college and the higher education, which is great. But uh, yeah. I just wanted to hear some opinions and uh, talk about uh, local funding formulas. Very good. Brody, I'm hearing an accent today that I haven't noticed from you before. Are you from like Pennsylvania, New <clears throat> Jersey, some somewhere in there? I'm actually from California. Oh, California. Uh, Interesting. I've got really bad. Yeah, I've got really bad congestion today from the terrible allergies here. Gotcha. OK, that might have been it. All right, Brody. Very good. Good to hear from you. <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy. OK, take it easy. We'll take a quick break. Don't hang up if you're holding because we will go right back to the phones just after this short break. 